Hi everyone, it's Lucy here from Sprinkle of Salt. Hope you're well and I hope you're enjoying the first couple of days of the summer holidays. Um, I've just popped on to show you a resource that I've been using in therapy sessions for the last couple of weeks. So if you're a parent or educational professional that supports a child with speech, language and communication needs, this resource might just be for you. So this resource is called the Tin Can Alley Game. And this is from Home Bargains and it's around £7. So I've been using this in sessions with my early communicators and children in year six and seven. So I'm just going to share with you a couple of examples and hopefully it will be of some help for you. So in the game itself, you get 10 tin cans and a couple of bean bags. So you've got yellow cans, blue cans, red and green. Now, what I love about this is on one side, we have numbers, so one to 10. And on the other side, we've got these cute faces. Um, lots of variety of expressions there, which is obviously a lovely opportunity to talk about emotions and feelings. So with my early communicators, I've been enjoying watching what they do with these tin cans. So, you know, even though the instructions say build a triangular tower, it doesn't always have to be that way, especially when we're following the child's lead. So with my early communicators, they've been exploring these tin cans. They make a lot of noise, which is really cool. So when they're thrown, dropped, banged together, there's lots of noise going on, which is really interesting. My children have enjoyed exploring these cans with their hands, with their feet. Um, some have even licked them because, you know, anything goes when you're working with early communicators. And in our sessions as an adult, I've been trying to sort of replicate what they've been doing, especially if we're working on imitation skills. Um, in Attention Autism and Bucket Time, I have used this resource in Stage 2 and in Stage 3. So in Stage 2, this is quite a neat activity to be able to build a tower and knock it down while the children are attending to what the adult is doing. In Stage 3, again, build the tower, but we open up the opportunity of turn-taking, which has been really fun. Now, with some of the older children that I work with, especially in year six and seven, we have been focused more on this side of the camp. Um, we've been able to talk about feelings and emotions using these as prompts, which has been really beneficial to some of my children. So some of my older children, we've used these in sessions to keep it fun, build rapport and to also reflect on incidents that may have happened in school. So an example for you, one of my year six pupils um, had been involved in an incident about half hour before I was due to work with the child. Um, they had had a chat with the deputy head teacher um, and another child was involved in this incident. So this information was shared with me. And when he came into session, we used this game, um, you know, to build up some rapport, have some fun. And when the opportunity was there, I started talking about this side of the camp. So, for example, I said, oh, how am I feeling today? You know, um, I didn't choose this one, but oh, I'm feeling like this today. <laughs> Wink. Um, and that gave a bit of an opening for us to start discussing feelings and emotions and how are we feeling right now? With this child in particular, we were able to reflect back on the incident that had occurred and how the deputy head might have felt and how the other child might have felt at the time. So this was a real beneficial resource that was incorporated in the session. So I love this resource. It's really versatile. I'm using it with my preschoolers right up to year six and seven. If you already have this resource, let me know how you're using it in your sessions. It's always good to share ideas. And if you haven't got this, go out and buy it because it's fantastic. Um, yeah, so hopefully you find that to be useful. I'll look forward to seeing you soon. Take care. Bye.